Hello dear students, our topic today is a busy month. Now you must be wondering why is this chapter called a busy month and for whom is it a busy month? Well, wait no further. Let's find it out. So it's a busy month for the birds and why is it a busy month? It's a busy month for the birds because birds are making their nests and laying eggs. Now students over here, an important point to remember is that birds do not build a nest for themselves to live, eat or sleep in. Nest is a place to lay eggs, to hatch them and to raise the chicks to the point where they can take care of themselves. I hope that's clear. Let's repeat one more time. Birds build nests to lay eggs, hatch eggs and to protect the young ones from their enemies. Now students, when you think of a bird and its nest, what kind of a picture comes to your mind? Does something like this first picture comes to your mind? wherein a nest is made from twigs and is on a tree or does something like this second picture comes to your mind where the nest is on land and amongst pebbles well either way you are correct because different birds make different kinds of nests in different kinds of places so students where a bird makes its nest what materials it uses and how it makes it all this depends on the kind of a bird it is so as you can see in the pictures over here birds could have nest near water bodies birds could have nest made out of a leaf birds could have nest which hangs from a tree branch birds could have nest which are on land amongst stones and pebbles so what kind of a nest it is where it is what materials are used all that depends upon the kind of a bird it is now students let us talk about some birds you are familiar with a crow students did you know that a crow makes its nest high up on trees whereas a dove makes its nest among the thorns of a cactus plant or mehendi hedge Talking about the materials used, while crow is not very particular of the kind of materials it uses for its nest, it could even use pieces of wire and wood. Robin, on the other hand, is very particular about its nest and uses soft things like wool, hair, cotton wool, etc. A coppersmith barbet also called as barbet or coppersmith, makes its nest in a hole in a tree trunk. A tailor bird uses its sharp beak to stitch together two leaves on a bush. The sun bird makes a nest that hangs from the branch of a small tree or a bush. The nest has hair, grass, thin twigs, dry leaves, cotton wools and even spiders cobwebs students did you know that there is a bird a very smart one indeed because it does not make its own nest in fact it goes to the nest of another bird and lays its egg over there well that bird is none other than quail do you know about this bird? This bird, which sings sweetly, does not make its own nest, but lays eggs in a crow's nest. The crow hatches them along with its own eggs. Making a nest and laying eggs is only the first step. It is a difficult task to raise the young ones as birds need to protect their eggs from many animals and sometimes from human beings as well. 
let's look at some of the animals that are a threat to the eggs of birds they are squirrel cats snakes rats etc with this we come to an end of part 1 a busy month thank you students for joining in and see you in part 2 bye bye